If you let Bali creep in on you, it will heal you. But you have to let go and relax, otherwise you won't feel it. Beef curry. Mm. We need to uh, oh, yeah, boil it yeah. for like yeah. four hours, five yeah, yeah. hours. So four we hours. start really early in the morning. Mm. So we put bay leaf and then um, cumin. Mm. So we put it also here a little bit. Just eyeball it. Take one. Chicken porridge. Oh yeah. So I already put all the chicken bones mm. and everything and cook the porridge. Mm. And for my recipe, I usually add a little bit fried garlic. Oh. To make it more fragrant. And of course, fried shallot because Indonesian cannot live without fried shallot. They always put it on top for extra crispy. But you can always put on soup or everything, like oh. porridge to make it more fragrant. I don't know why oh, I like yeah, it, yeah. but I always put Himalayan salt because I think it adds more minerals. So little, just a little bit. Uh, it's not common, but it's my recipe. A little oh. bit. So this is coconut. We don't really use the uh, cooking oil because we already use the coconut. So the first squeeze of the coconut is the thick one. Mm. That is the first uh, juice came out from the coconut and this is after the second squeeze so it's a little bit liquidy. Mm. Yeah. But we never use cooking cream, only coconut cream. Yeah. Rice mm -hmm. infused with coconut cream mm. and then this is all the spices that I put in. Oh. Uh, pandan leaf, which is really fragrance leaf, is almost like Indonesian vanilla. Mm. And this is lemongrass. Oh, you bruise it yeah, yeah. and you put it in. And this is kaffir lime leaf. Oh, to lime add, leaves. Yeah, leaves. To oh. add citrusy things. And this is salam leaf. It's almost like bay leaf, but it's a little bit different. Mm. And of course, galanga. And then turmeric. So the oh, turmeric, yeah. you created it to give the yellow color to nasi coconut. Oh. You put rice and then you put all these leaves and everything and then you put it in and put coconut cream, a little bit salt oh, and you yeah. close it and you go. A practice way how to do it. But in a village we use bamboo to cook it. Oh. So it's really aromatic. And you put the rice. This is ribbon eggs. It's a carrot, cucumber, and shallot. Yeah. But sometimes we use pineapples too. Oh. But sometimes, maybe most of the people they don't really like it because it's kind of fruity. So this yeah. is just regular pickles. Oh, this is sambal, yeah, yeah. yeah, finally. Finally. I only need to try sambal, yeah. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Indonesian eating everything with soy sauce, but oh, this really? is the sweet one and it's a little bit thick. Oh. So, this is sweet. Sprinkle peanut. Oh yeah, peanut. And this is the salty one, just in
Indonesia is more than 17,000 islands, all with different food. For instance, every housewife in Indonesia has their own specific version of nasi goreng. Or if you go shopping for banana, there's more than 50 different kinds of bananas. I mean, I never realized that before I came to Indonesia. I thought there was only like two or three different kinds of bananas. But here you have more than 50. So it's a little bit like I told you before that I feel like it's a little bit like the difference between a, a rock band in the West and a big symphony orchestra in, in Indonesia. It's like when you eat Indonesian food, you are playing on all of these instruments and it's sort of a symphony that is orchestrated in your mouth. And I think that is, that's truly what Michelle wants. She wants to open people's eyes to the Indonesian kitchen and have them experience all of these fabulous senses and these, um, these uh, tastes that you have in Indonesia. One of the things that a lot of people coming to Bali uh, is not really aware of, or maybe they don't notice it, is the energy here. So the energy in Bali is really strong. And if you give in to it, you will become happy. But you have to let go. So a lot of people come here, and, oh, we have, to, we have two weeks, we have to do, see this and this and this and this and this. It's so stressing and they will never discover the energy of Bali. But if you let Bali creep in on you, it will heal you. But you have to let go and relax, otherwise you won't feel it. We like the, uh, the energy and the feeling here. It's a little bit more laid back. Uh, if you compare it to places like Changu, or Kuta, uh, which are a little bit more like party songs. This is more like, um, it's very uh, popular amongst uh, families with kids. So it's a nice place to, uh, to be in some.
Thank mm-hmm. you.